All right, welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about the birth of the world happiness report. My name is Nick Redmark. I'm a Swiss coach engineer and I bring personal development tools to you on a daily basis. And today we are going to look at the global happiness report. In reality, I was looking at this uh, global happiness and well-being policy report, which I talked about yesterday, and it has some interesting members. So, for example, Notably, Ed Diener is a famous psychologist. And then we have Martin Seigman, which we talked about yesterday. And here we have Sonia Lyubomirsky, who is also a best-selling author and a professor of psychology um, that I might talk about another day. And what these people created is the Global Happiness and Wellbeing Policy Report in 2019. And I was going to look at this huge document of 2014 pages and I read the introduction about why uh, such a policy report exists. So on one hand, they acknowledge that wealth is not enough and that happiness can be measured. And finally, that happiness can be promoted via public policy. And I was going to read this document, but then I recognized that there is actually another document that is more important and that we should look at first, which is the global happiness report. Instead of what should be done in terms of policy, we should first know what is the state of the world when it comes to happiness. And so let's take a quick moment at how the World Happiness Report was born. In 1979, the King of Bhutan, Jingme Sinye Vangchak, I most likely butchered his name, in an interview he was asked, we do not know anything about Bhutan, what is your gross national product? And he answered, we do not believe in gross national product because gross national happiness is more important. Many decades later, in 2012, the first democratically elected Prime Minister of Bhutan, Jigme Finley, organized a meeting at the United Nations called Wellbeing and Happiness, Defining a New Economic Paradigm. And out of that, the first World Happiness Report was born. And in the next video, we are going to look at the last World Happiness Report, which came out in 2018. I'm sorry I didn't talk about this today, but I just discovered that uh, this is actually the much more important document, so I will have to take a bit of time tomorrow. Thank you for your patience. If you want to see the next video, subscribe and click on the bell. See you.